Hi foodies, so today we're making some cheese paste sandwiches. This is something I grew up on. My mommy was a teacher and I used to see this at every teacher's meeting. <laughs> okay, when they had snacks set up. So usually what they use is Jamaican processed cheese, okay? And um, it's kind of dense. So I left it out at room temperature instead of taking it straight from the fridge. So what you can do to get it um, into those tiny bits, cause you need it to be a paste, is you could use a sieve and then just press the cheese into it. You can use your clean hands or you could use a spoon and you'll see it come out on the other side. So that is gonna give you that nice texture that you need, okay? Now that is a really great option, I believe, okay? The other option is using a grater. You could use the finest part of the grater. However, I find that a lot of the cheese just gets stuck to the grater. You could use the medium side. However, it might not give you that smooth texture that you need for the paste. The other option, just crushing the cheese with your fork. So this is not cold cheese, okay? I took it out of the fridge. It's at room temperature or you could use the one that you just bought. It will be much softer because it's not as cold. So choose what you prefer. But I think the best options are the sieve or the fork. Okay. Now depending on what you're making cheese paste sandwiches for, it can be as simple as this with butter or you can add other things. Okay. So you can use mayonnaise. Some people actually use mayo. Um, some people use a little margarine and you just blend everything together with a mixer or simply a fork. So see, you're getting that beautiful, smooth texture. As far as how much butter, just enough to help the mixture get creamy. And then here I have finely grated onion. Yes, raw onion. If you're not a fan, you can leave it out. But every time I would have these sandwiches, they had that onion flavor. So this is done to taste, okay? You add a little, mix it in, and then give it a taste. And what I find is if you let the cheese paste sit for a little while before using it, the flavor is just so much better, you know? So blend all of that. You can add black pepper, you can add cayenne, some people add, you know, their own seasonings to it. And um, then you go ahead and smooth it out. Now, I found that some of the times when I had cheese paste sandwiches, it had cream cheese in it. So I don't know if these people just, you know, they could afford to buy cream cheese. But some people actually put cream cheese in the cheese paste. And it would give it that tangy, you know, that tart flavor. So you could add a little, but it's definitely optional, okay? You also have to make sure the cream cheese is at room temperature and not cold or else it won't blend out smoothly. So these are good to go for a cheese-based sandwich. However, if you want to make rainbow sandwiches, then you need to add coloring. So just separate the cheese paste into, you know, three or more bowls. And I use two to four drops of coloring because I want it to be either pastel or, you know, close to pastel, nothing too deep because that's just not appetizing to me. So these colors work perfectly for me. And all I need to do now is make some rainbow sandwiches. Now for bread, you could use the regular sliced bread. However, I just have this in the pantry and usually you roll out the bread slice anyhow. So this is already nice and thin. So it makes it even easier for me to flatten this. So I'm gonna roll it out. If you don't have a rolling pin, use a clean bottle, okay? The only reason I'm rolling this out is because I'm gonna be, you know, making those, what we call the pinwheel sandwiches. So I'm gonna be rolling it up. You can use just one color, but this time I'm gonna be using more than one. So spread on the cheese paste and then repeat the step on another slice of bread that you flatten, okay?
after you stacked them facing up with the cheese paste then you can cut off the edges you can cut off some of the edges or all of the edges it's really up to you okay then you have to roll it up but be very careful with this bread it is very thin so you know it's easy to rip but i made it happen and then it gives us some really beautiful swirls on the inside of the sandwich this is really great for a snack for kids but grown-ups can enjoy too <laughs> Aside from those, you can make other sandwiches. You could just add your cheese paste and stack the bread and cut it into triangles. Easy does it. Cheese paste sandwiches and rainbow cheese paste sandwiches are just a part of, you know, Caribbean tradition, I think. It's not just a Jamaican thing. Other islands make it too. Some of them just add different things, you know so you can experiment i've seen people use um mustard and you know hot sauce you can definitely experiment what i'm used to it's just these simple ingredients Some of these breads are so soft that they will not, you know, stand up to all the pressing and the slicing and, you know, all of that. So make sure that you're using a bread that is firm enough. And then you can cut your sandwiches in whatever shapes you want. I love to do the triangle one as well. It's just very cute. I remember going to seminars and going to teachers meetings with mommy and i would just hope i always hoped that these sandwiches were there these and corned beef sandwiches so delicious this is another way to get that rainbow effect even if you only have a few slices of bread in the house okay just cut those slices of bread and then stack them really really nice guys so these are just three ways you can make these sandwiches there are many other ways to do these but let me know in the comments section if you add anything else to your cheese paste sandwiches let me know guys if you remember these from your childhood if you had it on church trips or school trips if you had it at um, meetings let me know in the comments section thanks for watching see you guys next time bye bye